You're still lingering like the old cologne that you wore. I still see your face in the empty frame by the door. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. I am so excited to share my thoughts on McCall's summer collection. This dropped last Thursday and I was really excited and wanted to record it right there and then, but I thought I would just take a breath, relax, look through the collection, get a feel for each pattern, read the description, and then possibly do some fabric pairing. So in today's video, that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to share with you my top picks, which is probably almost all of the McCall patterns in this collection, as well as some fabric pairing. So I did a little hunting, a little research, and I have those to share with you as well. So if you are interested and would like to see my thoughts and the fabrics I chose for the patterns that I'll share, please meet me in the next section. Okay, so this McCall's collection is so beautiful. I feel like they have put a lot of energy and research into the development of each pattern. The styling, everything is on point. They have beautiful pieces for knocking around during the hot sweltering heat, as well as some really nice dresses that you can actually do a little thing different with them where you can change the fabric and possibly even use them as pieces to transition into the fall season. Okay friends, so the first pattern we're going to look at is McCall's M8311. This is a beautiful, asymmetric, very sexy pattern. It is designed for a two-way knit, so think of um, double knits or anything that has a lot of extra, like, like good recovery but also very stretchy because you do not want to have to struggle to get into this pattern based on the design as you guys can see it's so beautiful it's um going to be an interesting one to get into in my humble opinion i don't know yet i haven't really checked out the full pattern instructions because i don't have it just yet but i think it's going to be um a winner i love the design it's so beautiful and the fabric suggestions, again, is two-way stretch knits, so medium weight knits, interlock, and velvet. Now, here are the views of all the versions in this pattern. Version A and B are pretty similar, with the exception of the length. Version C has no sleeves, and they all have the that uh, ring detail on the side which I think is so beautiful to add to um, a design such as this. I think that tortoise shell kind of ring would look amazing especially if you decided to go with something like a hunter's green or a merlot color in a velvet fabric that will pop out really nicely. For this pattern, and before I jump to fabric selection, this pattern also has a, a sister, which is M8331. It is the plus size version to this pattern, so that means the size range will cover every single one so you don't have to feel left out because this fat this pattern is so awesome we want to ensure that everyone has an opportunity to make it without having the stress of wondering how they're going to uh, get it to their size range by doing alterations and modification and just adding time instead of sitting and sewing now i went ahead and i put together this sort of a slide or swatch or whatever you want to call it where I went out and searched the internet checked out most of my favorite fabric um, shops online and I have here as an option Minerva Velvet 
stretch knit. This one was chosen basically because I like dark florals. I love florals as a whole generally, but for certain looks I feel like this would would work well. And I also found this beautiful orange stretch rayon from Mood which would make this pattern pop. It would be like whoa. And there is my favorite which is the metallic slate from Mood. This fabric will make this dress just be a wow, jaw-dropping, gorgeous, fantastic for summer, end of summer, slowly moving in to and transitioning into the fall. This is an amazing fabric. This pattern is a winner. I totally love it and I would make it. Now, there isn't anything major to say about this pattern other than it's wonderful. The design is great. It's very feminine. It is also a very sexy pattern. So we're balancing off the femininity with the sexy, but it's still kind of modest. It's not giving off too much until, you know, you, you go to the back. I feel like that's just about it. It's really not um, a design that's giving off too much or giving the wrong impression. It's definitely a very polished dress and I really like it. What are your thoughts? The next pattern that I just love from this collection is 8322. Look at this design. This is a beautiful a beautiful summer dress. Every single thing about this dress is awesome. It's very feminine. It's long. It's a maxi version. C is the maxi version. B kind of hits like um, above your knee and then version A just has that sort of halter design. But it is gorgeous and what I really like about this specific pattern is design C and I love how the cut for the bust is beautiful. It's just, it's not too plunging. It's not like a plunging neckline even though it's pretty deep, but it still looks beautiful and sort of elegant. So I am all for this design. I mean, it's a sexy on a different level. It's not like sultry sexy like the dress before. It's more of a... I'm trying to find the perfect word to describe how I feel, but it's definitely an elegant sort of sexy versus a... I don't know, like an in-charge... Um, it's not like a super I am sexy look at me you can see this it's more of a you pass by and be like whoa that's beautiful that's gorgeous that that person is like extremely elegant and it's just it gives off a really nice vibe and I like this pattern for that very reason I feel like I'm like moving up on my my seat because I'm just excited about this collection and I want to share everything and all my feelings about it. I am going to pop up this slide where you can see all the versions <laughs> while I share with you the suggested fabric. This one we have cotton blends, lawn, gingham, and chalets. Version C is my favorite I love it. The back is beautiful. It's just, it's just a Renata dress. It's a Renata dress that says, let's go out on a Saturday. Let's walk through a park. Let's enjoy coffee. It's that sort of fun dress for me. Now, here we have the slide that I'm going to share with the fabric that I chose for this because I think this dress deserves the best and a lot of attention with the fabric. So the first one here is the Minerva of Viscous Chalet in green and amber. 
I love this color. I think it's really beautiful. I think it would make this dress look amazing and it will bring out all the details of it. I also like the Golden Garden Rayon Batiste from Mood. It's an exclusive fabric for them and it's just so beautiful. It just feels like that sort of traveler vibe you know Parisian like you're going to Europe and you're just walking around and enjoying the sights I thought that fabric would look great with this pattern and then this art gallery this uh, indie folk meadow rayon chalet I thought that this would look really fun and funky especially if you go with the shorter version it's just more playful and that really encapsulate my entire thoughts for this design M8322. The next pattern that I'm going to share with you is M8321. Now I have to be honest the first time I looked at this pattern I really wasn't feeling it. I didn't get like that love at first sight as I get with other patterns but as I've said on this channel multiple times guys line art line art is key you have to check it out because then you will see things that you may not notice because of the fabric choice that was used on the model version a is one of my favorite but i like version b as well you're not going to notice this until you check out the line art Check out this slide with all the versions. The back of this is an amazing wow factor. And all of these dresses are winners in my book, but I have a heart for version A. I think it's super cute, and I really do like the version B. But it's up to you. They're all really nice, they're all amazing, and they will look good no matter what fabric you choose what color you go with. Their suggested fabric here are batik, cotton blends, linen, and satin. So for the fabric pairing options, I have a really beautiful fabric here from Style Maker Fabric. As you guys can see, this statement, Rose Floral, will make this pattern pop like nobody's business. It's so beautiful, it's definitely an elegant piece, perfect for your Sunday best or if you're just hanging out with friends. The mood blue period satin cotton would also look amazing. I would probably make this in version A and then mood's periwinkle patchwork. I like this one. This fabric is beautiful. I love the patchwork and I would probably consider making version B with this one. That would kind of be my, my recommendations but with any of them that style makeup fabric is going to look the bomb. Okay guys. <laughs> All right. So that takes care of McCall's M8321. What do you think? Which one of these fabrics are your favorite? Now let's move into the next pattern. The next one is M8312. This pattern here, I liked it. I didn't love it. It just felt like a typical pattern but the more I looked at it and just thinking about the heat and how hot it is here this is really an ideal dress for summer it's very breezy you're getting a lot of movement and if you chose the right fabric you're gonna feel amazing in this now there are four patterns in this Let's try it again. There are four versions in this pattern and I pretty much like all of them. My favorite is version A. I just feel like if there was a way to switch it up a little bit, I would probably add the hem of version B and then the sleeve of version D to create a really fun look. But all of these are winners in my book. And I keep saying that, but everything I share here, I really, really love. There isn't any that I'm not too fond of that otherwise they wouldn't make it on this list. The fabric 
suggestions here are gingham cotton blends, mm -hmm. poplin, and sateen. I believe that they would look amazing in really like fun gingham prints. Like if you can get the gingham and mix it in with some florals, I think that would look really good, especially with that yoke in the front there. Now, here are my fabric picks for this one. First off, we have this variegated stripe linen blend by um, from Style Maker Fabric. This would look really good. I just feel like it gives you sort of a, another travel of vibe. Just think of wearing a hat with this and having your basket bag and going to the market. Perfect market outfit. I love this for a Saturday shopping spree as well. Then from Minerva, I found this Rosen Hubble cotton poplin. This one is super cute. I think that it would be a very uh, subtle subtle Sunday dress just hanging around home but still ready to go if someone calls you. This print isn't too much because of the flamingos but I thought it would be really playful and sort of um, uh, I wouldn't say bespoke but sort of a a designer print because most of the times I notice some of the design designers have a really unique prints for their fabric and they're very subtle you have to kind of search to see it so that's why I picked this flamingo for this pattern. The next one is a sort of a patchwork fabric from Mood is from their exclusive line and this is an ornamental divergent sky blue and gray cotton lawn fabric because it's a cotton lawn I thought that it would look really nice and it will give you a lot of movement and you'll be really cool during the hot days in summer. So guys that was it for McCall's MA312. What do you think of this fabric uh, pattern pairing group? Mm -hmm. Next up is McCall's M8320. This one is Saturday Fun Day. The previous one was Saturday Market Day. But what I like about this one, and at first, again, I didn't really love it when I first saw it. But then I read the notes and I cannot wait to pick this up. It has a lot of pin tuck details and that I have never tried before in all my life of sewing. I have not done pin tucks and I really want to get that skill down to a T. So when I realized that this pattern provides you with pin tucking, I jumped on it and said, yes, this one is going on my list. So there are three versions in this pattern. Version A is the bodice, version B is the dress, version C is the dress, but it's a, a short sleeve pin tucked version. And I want to do this dress. This one is probably the favorite out of all the versions in this pattern. Version C, because of that detail on the sleeve, I am pretty partial to statement sleeves and just because you say statement it doesn't have to be a long sleeve and just huge and obnoxious it could be certain details on the sleeve so I really like that version C and would consider it okay so let's take a look at all the views and I'll share with you the suggested fabric gingham cotton blends poplin and satin are the suggested for this pattern and here are my fabric pairing for this pattern. First up is another one from Style Maker. This one is their Scenic Summer Weather. It's rayon um, of voile and the colorway is navy. I just thought that this would just be a, a blossoming like sort of starburst kind of print for this pattern. I know there isn't any stars on here, but I just sort of got that vibe from the fabric. And then this mood exclusive, uh, this clay flowers really, really sucked me in. I'm not, I don't usually go for colors like this, but I thought that with the details on this dress, that that fabric would really look nicely, depending on which version you use. And lastly, there is the... Balenciaga 
um, Italian blue red alert and white striped cotton poplin. I think if you want it to be a little more um, reserved with your colorway for this pattern, that fabric would look really good. And if you wanted to add like um, lace ladder or a, a sort of ladder detail with the lace fabric, I may pop a picture in to show you what I mean. If you wanted to add those into like the the yoke por portion of this, that would be really nice. It would be just a really nice addition. Okay, so the next a pattern that we are going to look at here is McCall's M8324. This is a top. Now, I, I just can't help it. I look at some of these things and I'm like, ah, uh, nah, I'm not interested in it. But then I go in and I look at the line out and I'm like, hmm, think again, Renata, think again. So this is a top, a beautiful top unique especially when you see this now look at all the different options and check out the back detail i would not have noticed that unless i had checked the line art because the image on the pattern doesn't really give you anything except the front version and if you're not paying attention you're going to pass that without even taking a second look so Suggested fabric for this one while we just uh, go through the versions are chamois, chalets, and cotton blend. Doesn't that give you a feeling of really chamois for this sort of design? Yeah, exactly. I, I couldn't believe it because initially when I saw this, I thought it was for like a knit fabric. I had no idea it was for woven. It just didn't look like a pattern that was designed for woven. So that totally threw me off as well. However, to make everything work well, after looking deeper, checking out fabric option, I have come up with these three for you as possible fabric pairing. We have style maker here again this intricate paisley floral this rayon fabric is beautiful i really really like it i think it will make an amazing top one that will pop up and just it'll just be so cute it's just such a cute fun print and i, I actually really want this fabric i think it's really nice but i got too much fabric already the next one is this mood exclusive. This misty morning is a polyester chamois. It's very rosy and dusty. It's got a sort of English feel, in my opinion. I think it's something that um, just, I don't know, it kind of reminiscent of back in the day, like just old and vintage and beautiful. So that's why I chose this one for that pattern, just because it's a little different. It's got a vintage feel, but it's a modern style top. So I thought that would be a really nice pairing. And then lastly, we have this Tilio fabric from fabric.com. It is the Selena Rayon. It's a watercolor in rust. Yes, I kind of pronounced the other word. So we'll just say it's rust. <laughs> and I think that all three of those would make beautiful tops for this McCall M8324. What are your thoughts? Do you like the selections that I put forward for this pattern or are you more of a let's just stick with solid colors for this one? Okay, let's move on to the next pattern. Okay guys, I have McCall's M8325. This is a learn um, to sew level three pattern. I didn't even have to think about this one. I knew I loved it as soon as I looked at it. What do you guys think of this ruffle on the shoulder? That is my style. No thinking. And then I looked at it and I read it. Pin tuck. They are teaching you how to do pin tuck. So I am excited for this pattern. Definitely on my list to go grab as soon as it goes on sale, guys. 
There are three versions in this pattern. As you guys can see, the suggested fabric are lawn, cotton blends, chalet, and Swiss dot. If you go to if you go to McCall's website, it says dotted Swiss. And for me, that just seemed kind of backward. So I said Swiss dot. I could be wrong, but this just flows better for me. For this pattern, I have chosen pretty decent fabrics, I think. The first one here on this slide is a style maker fabric. It's spring floral. It's a digital print embroidered eyelet and it's in cotton lawn. I think this is such a beautiful fabric. It is just going to look luscious in this pattern. What do you guys think? I mean, I love it. I think it's going to look really good. Just imagine that, that pattern with white shorts and I'm not talking about like hard denim I'm talking about a really nice linen short or something that is just more on the feminine side it's gonna look amazing it's just such a fantastic design <sighs> it's got my heart I love it the next fabric here is a broderie anglias embroidered cotton from Minerva this one is super cute I think it's almost identical to the one the model is wearing and it would be a really nice fabric to work with because they're a little bit softer it's got a sort of kind of linen-y feel with it and they're just easy to maneuver and lastly we have from fabric.com the leno lawn embroidered eyelid tunnel stripe white is the perfect color for this sort of pattern I like working with white for these sort of essential designs that you can wear with anything. So you can sew it up in white, wear it with a denim jeans, wear it with some khakis, wear it with a skirt, wear it with a, um, a maxi, and it's just going to look beautiful. So those are the fabric options for that pattern, MA325. And let's move on to the next pattern. Next up we have McCall's MA326. Now this is a skirt pattern and I hardly ever sew skirts. I really am trying this year to do separate so make more tops, make more skirts instead of sewing dresses all the time. However I am not winning. <laughs> I have made so many dresses I gotta take a step back and think about my projects. But this skirt I wasn't going to add it to my list, but I thought it would be nice for those of you that like to sew separates to have an option and know what is out there. I do feel, there's hoot, I do feel like McCall's have had this pattern in the past. I'm not 100% sure, but I do feel like I have something similar. If I do, I'm going to pop it on the screen and show it to you. But it's a really nice pattern. It's an essential pattern. So you can definitely make this in white, in black, in any sort of fabric prints but for for my personal style and to share with you I have some swatches coming up but let's go through the fabric suggestions while you look at the view over here so cotton blends lawn chalets and gingham those are what were recommended here is the slide I was speaking about, guys. I thought that the fabric options here are really, really good. I have this Mood Exclusive Tulsa Workshop Pink Cotton Voile. I think this would make a really nice skirt. It gives off a similar vibe to the modeled version. And the other Mood fabric, the Periwinkle Patchwork, this one is like, I love it. I love it for dresses. It's an amazing fabric. I love it for dresses, for skirts, for blouses. But I thought it would look really nice as this skirt with possibly a wide shirt or like a, a sleeveless shirt with like, this is what I'm trying to say. The Mood Exclusive Periwinkle as this McCall's skirt and then sew up a white sleeveless shirt with tortoise colored buttons down the front, especially if it's a sleeveless, it's going to look amazing. That sort of cam shirt, but the sleeveless version, I think it would look really nice and perfect for the summer season. So tell me, what are your thoughts? Are you a skirt sewing person? Do you like to make separates? Because guess what? 
it's a struggle for me. I'm really working on it and I just hope I win. We'll see what happens by the end of the year. Next up is the swimsuit. So they have McCall's MA329 and they also have this pattern as a plus size and that call number is MA330. I love that this pattern gives you three completely different versions. So you have the bikini, you have the one shoulder, and then you have a, a more covered top. So I think that it gives you really nice options and then it comes in multiple sizes. So it covers everyone and we can all enjoy sewing our swimsuits and looking amazing for the summer. I have some options for you guys. This one, I just never know because I've never sewn a swimsuit and I, I've said this multiple times too, that I want to sew it, but I'm so intimidated to make my own swimsuit. I just feel like I wouldn't do a good job. My machine isn't right. I would not pick the right lining. And I just put all these roadblocks in front of me. But if I did sew my own swimsuit, here are a few fabrics that I would choose. First up, I have this style maker fabric. This one is a watercolor tropical leaf. And then we have the another tropical digital print, neoprene, and this one is from Mood Fabric. <laughs> and finally, we have another fabric from Style Maker. This one is their tropical floral, but in the berry print, it's just layered, so there's more... Um, There's just an extra layer of print on it. It's got more of that sort of like speckle on it compared to the first version, that green one. So there you have it, guys. Finally, we are here. This is the last pattern that I'm going to share with you that I thought was really nice. I did not put together a swatch for this one just because I didn't feel... Like I didn't have vibes for sharing it. I just feel like any of the fabrics that I shared before would have been my picks for this one. It is McCall's M8306. This is the vintage 80s style pattern by Laura Ashley. I, I just love the bodice and basically that's why I put this pattern on the list so here are the different views and let's take a look at the suggested fabric so they recommend cotton blends lawn charlies and lightweight denim so everything about the pattern on the printed packaging really speaks to me i love purple lilac that sort of shade and that is a sort of ditzy print white fabric with that purple that's pretty much my style and I would definitely look for fabrics similar to that to share in a swatch. So I just decided not to do it and I know the video is already getting long but I just wanted to pop in here and share with you guys my thoughts about this collection because it is an amazing collection. I think these patterns will definitely go the mile and they will go, you know, they'll go through the years because of their design detail so check out mccall's latest collection at your local fabric and haberdashery store everything i shared with you guys today all the patterns and the fabrics everything will be linked down below thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it if you did i would love for you to consider subscribing have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys on my next upload Bye bye. Push you away and we're done just like that. Something about you is pulling me back.